Good morning, New Beginnings. It's me, Pastor Danish House. Uh, today is Thursday, July 21st, 2022. Thank you so much for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I'm glad you decided to make me part of your life today, and I'm delighted that you are part of my life as well. Well, today is uh, Thursday. It's the 21st of July. It's Terry Yaddo's birthday. Happy birthday, Terry. We love you so much. We all look up to you, of course, because uh, you're so tall and because you're an awesome man of the faith. And uh, so we're so glad that you're part of our fellowship and we're glad that uh, uh, you are, are alive and kicking and, and blessing everybody with your with your gifts. And uh, so, yeah, so God bless you, Terry. Have a great day today. I hope you get a chance to celebrate uh, with Bev and the family and I hope you know that you are loved by them and by your friends here at church and, and of course, by your Jesus. Today is Thursday, which means that we also have 180 Youth going on tonight, so that's exciting. Uh, at uh, 7 o'clock, uh, 180 Youth is, and um, our teens gather together for worship and uh, um, learning from the scriptures and also connecting with one another. It's a great time, starting at 7 o'clock. On Sunday, I preached out of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 8 through 13. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 8 through 13. And uh, one of the things that the Apostle Paul says there, and I talked about this passage yesterday, but I'll talk about a different portion of it. In verse 10, Paul says, I endure everything for the sake of the elect, that they also may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. And yesterday we talked about the importance of finishing the race and that Paul endured everything to be an example for the believers that we need to finish the race, and not just start the race, but to cross the finish line. And uh, he talks about the reward that comes from it, right? With eternal glory, with eternal glory. Uh, there are many passages in the New Testament that talk about the eternal glory, the eternal reward that awaits those who endure to the end. Um, it's, uh, we're going to be raised from the dead and we're going to uh, enter into the glory of his reward. Uh, verse uh, 12 says, if we endure, we also will reign with him. It talks about us reigning, R-E-I-G-N, right? Reigning like a king and a queen on a throne. Um, we're going to reign with Jesus. We're going to rule and reign with Jesus in the kingdom that is to come. Honestly, I, I don't fully know all that that means. Uh, I have lots of questions about it. What does it mean that we're going to reign with him? Uh, reign over what or whom? I mean, if 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 uh, there's going to be a resurrection of the dead and those who belong to Christ, uh, those who have endured to the end, they will live and reign with him. And those who do not endure to the end, those who have rejected him, uh, they will pass into eternal judgment. Um, well, then who are those who are reign with Jesus going to reign over? Uh, you know, so there's plenty of speculation about that. Maybe people who are born after, maybe those who live on other planets. Uh, I don't know. Maybe reign, ruling and reigning is not going to be over people. Maybe it's going to be over the, uh, the, the created order. Maybe it's over animals. I, I don't know. I, 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 my guess is it's going to be above and beyond anything that I can imagine. Well, what is clear there, though, is that there is a reign that's involved and it's with eternal glory. It is in the glory that we were intended to have from the beginning. It's in close proximity to God. It's in close relationship with God, a face-to-face -face relationship with the living God. It's a time of joy and peace, a time where there is no sickness or sadness, no death, but eternal life, eternal health, eternal joy with God. We don't know all the particulars, but we do know the basic sketch of it. And the basic sketch of it is that it's going to be good and it's going to be worth enduring for. Uh, if in some ways, if enduring to the end means crossing the finish line, this is the after race party. I have many friends who run marathons and they look forward to the after race party when they get to 
to drink, sometimes drink water, sometimes drinking beer uh, after the race, but enjoying the celebration of, uh, of the race well run. In another sense though, and just to use a, a Steven Spielberg quote here, uh, Steven Spielberg said that movies never have a, don't have a beginning, middle, and an end. They have a beginning that keeps on beginning, he said. Uh, and I think that's actually a good uh, image for what eternal life is going to be like. It's a beginning that keeps on beginning. When we cross the finish line of faith, when we endure to the end, what we'll find is that the end is just the beginning of something new and something even greater than we had ever imagined could be. There's going to be a new heavens and a new earth. For what purpose? For purposes that we haven't even begun to guess at yet. Um, it's going to be better than Star Trek. It's going to be better than your wildest dreams. It's going to be amazing to live and reign together with him for all eternity. That's what we're looking forward to as believers in Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for your love for us. Thank you so much that even though uh, we have not yet even conceived of the glorious things that you prepared for everyone who has believed, Lord, I pray that you would help us to, to grab hold of the little hints that we have and persevere and endure to the end uh, in uh, anticipation and in delight at that uh, uh, reward that is to come. Lord, help us to endure, to know that it's worth it. It will be worth it in the end, in Jesus' name. Lord, I do lift up Terry Yaddo today on his birthday. Please bless him, encourage him, strengthen him in every way. May he know that he is loved by us by and especially by you. And Lord, I pray for the youth gathering tonight at 7 o'clock. I pray that you bless their 180 youth meeting. May they... Uh, fall deeper in love with you, with your purposes, and with your people. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I love your new beginnings, and I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow.